Every time I fall asleep on my stomach, my neck muscles feel sore and stiff in the morning. The problem is that I make the switch unconsciously during the night. I decided to create a device capable of sensing my body position at all times, so I can stop this from happening. I considered using a simple tilt sensor to detect when I moved, but I wanted a more precise and reliable solution, so instead I ended up using an accelerometer and a microcontroller. I designed this board which my friends at PCBWay kindly manufactured. As with my other products, two layers, a white solder mask, an enic finish. The device had to be small, battery powered and light. I used 402 components to maximize the available space. Without further ado, I'm going to show you the building process and how it works. For those of you who are also makers, I want to let you know that PCBWay now has a reduced price on 4 and 6 layer boards, offering up to 20% off. I will leave a link in the description. I did not want to wake up my significant other every time it alerted me, so instead of using an acoustic signal, I chose a small vibration motor. It's not a very power efficient solution but I could not think of a better one for this problem. I decided to make the enclosure with my FDM printer but I will try an SLA service in the next revision. Parts like these look amazing in resin. I could have used a strap like this one to hold it in my chest, but using the elastic band of my underwear seemed like a simpler solution, given the fact that this device weighs less than 14 grams. To use it, you just have to press the on button and that's it. It will stay in sleep mode most of the time and wake up every 8 seconds to check your position. This way, the small LiPo battery lasts much longer. If the monitor is upside down, it will sense that you are sleeping on your stomach and your neck is probably under pressure, so it will start vibrating until you move. I'm not entirely happy with the power consumption yet. I made some mistakes in the designing phase, which means I cannot switch off the regulator and the accelerometer while the microcontroller is in sleep mode. So, even though the module is perfectly usable, there could still be less of a drain on the battery. Charging the device is quick and easy. You just have to plug in the USB-C cable and it will be ready to use within an hour. 
I will consider selling some units once these issues are solved. So if you are interested, make sure to follow me on Instagram and let me know. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.